Let's take a moment and go through the audio settings on the DEHX 8500BH. So we'll press in on the volume control and move to our audio settings and press enter. Here we can adjust the fade and balance control by pressing enter. We can adjust the fader to the front or to the rear. If I press the button again, we switch over to our balance control where we can adjust to right and left. When we're done making those adjustments, hit the arrow back. Now we'll scroll over to our preset EQ and our graphic EQ. For more information on the equalizer, check out the EQ video. And we'll scroll over to our loudness control. We'll press in. Right now, loudness is turned off. I'll press it in. We have loudness on its mid setting. We can go low, mid, or high. We'll go back one level and move over to our subwoofer number one setting. Subwoofer number one, press enter. And here our subwoofer is turned on and it's in its normal phase. I can switch the subwoofer phase to reverse or back to normal or if I press in I can turn the subwoofer off. Right now let's turn the subwoofer on and keep it in its normal phase. I'm going to go back one layer and over to subwoofer number two. If I press enter here I can adjust the crossover point for my, for my subwoofer and if I press enter I can adjust a boost or a cut to that particular crossover point. And I'll go back one layer and move over to our base booster. Here I can add a little more bottom into the system or take it back down to zero. I'll go back. Let's move over to our high pass filter. Here we'll press enter. And right now our high pass filter is turned off, so we'll press enter again to switch a high pass filter on and choose a crossover point for our high pass filter. Once we've done that, we can press back and go over to our source level adjuster. Our source level adjuster allows us to change the volume level as compared to FM. So we'll press enter. And here, we're listening to USB right now. So the USB can be either a little louder than FM or a little quieter. And the idea here would be so that when you switch between sources, you don't hear a giant change in the volume level. We'll go back out of source level adjuster, and we're back to our fade and balance control. 